Welcome back and thank you for keeping it NTV. You are still watching NTV Weekend Edition and we are coming to you live from Budo Junior School. Now tomorrow, Uganda is set to mark the 35th Heroes Day, which is also an opportunity to pay homage to several Ugandans who sacrificed everything for the good of others. Now here at Budo Junior School is a home of one of those heroes, Yvonne Namaganda, a dom captain who at the age of 10 years sacrificed her own life to save her colleagues who found themselves trapped in the blazing Nasolo dormitory uh, that was in the year 2008. So tonight we return to this school and ask what this uh, event of the Heroes Day means to them after she was declared a hero. And of course joining us is the head teacher Ernest Kavlu. Good evening sir and thank you for joining us on NTV Weekend Edition. Good evening to you. All right, so we would like to know uh, what does Heroes Day mean to the school, given that, uh, you know, one of uh, your own was named a hero. Thank you. Um, it means a lot to us, and not only to us, but also the parents of those children, mm. and most especially Yvonne Namaganda, who showed special uh, qualities when she was trying to evacuate her friends. Having someone remembered for his bravery, courage, uh, determination, a risk taker, it is something good to, 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 to be proud of. We would have loved to celebrate um, a living hero, but it's not possible. Mm -hmm. But all the same, if we were to take the positive side of it, it would feel good, okay. and the parents should also feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Let them take the positive side of it. Okay. The, yeah. So, do you? hold any memorial activities in uh, Yvonne Namaganda's honor and if you do what exactly do you how do you honor her and also those that lost their lives unfortunately we do not do it publicly we tried that three years after for three years after the incident but it was so traumatizing. Whenever we gathered for it, the tears were too much. And with the management of the school found it befitting to hold it so that we do not uh, injure our parents. And the children at school, whenever they you remember it was it was a very good situation for them mm -hmm. and for your information even when we rebuilt the, the dormitory it became very difficult for them to occupy it so we they were still scared they were still scared so we kept it empty for some time until all those that knew about it had left mm -hmm. so we remember pray for them but we do not do it publicly. Okay. Yeah. So how about those who survived? Do they sometimes come around and, you know, reflect and maybe share on what happened? Oh, they do. Those who survived are now working. They are working. So we hold, uh, we have a day for Donians, mm -hmm. which we called Pioneers Day. All those that went through the school have a day when they come and reflect on all that. Even some of these students that were in 2008 come and remember their friends. Some of them are scared. At one time I got a parent who lost a child here and when he saw me said, oh my God, whenever I see Someone from Budo Junior School, all that comes back to my mind is my daughter I lost. And then she started crying. So you can see mm. what that one means. Mm. But 
we put all those ones in the hands of God mm. because he heals those wounds. Okay. So now this incident is one of those that led to a change in policies with the government coming up with different precautionary measures to ensure the safety of uh, pupils in schools. Some of which in instances like fire outbreaks, some of which uh, is making sure that there is a fire extinguisher, installing you know the smoke and fire detectors. How are some of these measures, measures being implemented here at Budo Junior School? That incident was an eye-opener to most of us, most schools and many other institutions. Um, but what we try to concentrate on most is the prevention. We sensitize our people. We have mothers in the dormitories. Every dormitory has got a mother. We sensitize them. We make them aware of what the likely things that can bring about fire so that they don't get any closer to them. Mm. We also uh, make them aware that they are there to provide security or provide safety for those children. Uh, in the dormitories, we have water in the buckets just in case a fire happens, they can use that water to put it off. The fire extinguishers are there on their verandas. For those who are outside and they are going to help, they can use those uh, gadgets. We have fire blankets in the dormitories. They can also be used. But um, it becomes very difficult mm. to try these skills with the children because they are very scary. We take them through drills of putting off fire when it happens, but you see them scared. And if it becomes a real fire, you can see okay. such a scare. Mm. So that's why we try to concentrate on uh, prevention. Now. To this day, it has never really been clear. Uh, we've never really found out what exactly happened that day, uh, what caused the fire, um, and what really led, you know, how, how many uh, children died. What would be your take on that? Did you get any answers or reports on that? Unfortunately, I came after that incident. So I may not have much to say about what exactly caused the fire. I'm also like you. I depend on what others have found out, okay. what the police uh, found out, and uh, it took it really took time to to to, to investigate. Mm. And up to now, we are not very sure, and we cannot point at anyone that this one did it. Okay, but. We have put all our energies on prevention so that we prevent reoccurrence of such incidents. Do you have any advice to other schools on how they can prevent such sad episodes? Oh yes, to all my colleagues in schools and all our other institutions. It is upon us to provide safety to our children, to our staff, and the property of the institutions. We need to take all that, do all that it takes to have our people safe. The fire extinguishers can be there, but sensitization is very, very critical mm. so that children get to know what can bring about fire and how to fight it. Let the staff know let there be um, matrons in the dormitories. Okay. For, for, for our case, we advise them to keep awake during the night. Okay. In fact, they are supposed to make three rounds yeah. within the night. Okay. They sleep less at night, but we give them time to sleep during the day. Okay. And also, 
we need to keep our children busy so that they don't take all the time in the dormitories uh, they don't get time to think about those other things because uh, an uh, idle mind okay and finally one word to the per the family of uh, Yvonne Namaganda as we head into heroes day celebrations the family of Yvonne Namaganda we empathize with you we sympathize with you but we pray for you losing a dear one is very agonizing you may not know what it's what what those parents go through whenever they remind they they remember their daughter when they see the agement of their daughter they start remembering and probably my daughter would be like this and they feel so bad but we want to put them in the hands of god because he heals those those wounds all right all yeah. right thank you so much uh ernest kavlu the head teacher <coughs> of budo junior school and with that we stop for another break and return with news from the world of